My Manifesto The Life of Jacques de Aldersberg The reasons for choosing Jacques de Aldersberg as Grand Master remain a mystery. The Order of the White Rose had gone through a crisis in those times and was on the verge of collapse, so one might guess that the Brethren wished to have someone decisive as their leaders, someone with a clear vision. De Aldersberg was precisely such a man. One of his first decisions was to change the Brotherhood's name to the Order of the Flaming Rose. The most puzzling aspect, however, is that the Order and the King himself decided to trust a man who, for all intents and purposes, had appeared out of nowhere. They say he was a wanderer, an itinerant priest who moved crowds with his speeches declaiming non-humans. They say he worked miracles and showed his flock visions of a world destroyed by the White Frost. He was undoubtedly a man of great charisma, one instilled with unshakable principles, which he in turn tried to instill in others. Was he truly a source? Was he indeed gifted with raw magic talent? That we will never know for certain. <laughs>